guys are not. It's me, a gym today here cleaning my bike. It's probably filthy after all the winter rides that I had this year. Not as many as usual because of, you know, coronavirus. <laughs> and now we have a proper spring clean. But it's almost summer. We have a spring clean. We have a spring clean. Jim, do a spring clean. Cleaning a spring. You're leaving a spring. Jim, do. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's spray and clean. Spray and clean. No, spray brush and clean. Yeah. Spray brush and wash. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Yeah. And the same like you're doing with the cars, you're using brushes. Yeah, for the bits that aren't sort of delicate paint, mm. the wheels can take. Things. Like a rough brush. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I wouldn't use it on the paint. I mean, even though you've got satin paint, which mm -hmm. you know, it's not really going to show the sc lot of light scratches, I still wouldn't do it. The, the wheels are normally the dirtiest bit, mm -hmm. so you want to get that off because if you clean all the bodywork and then start spraying the wheels, yes, then they will get all around. And yes. the, the wheel dirt goes everywhere else. What do you think about special motorcycle products? Uh, Generally, they are all the same product as the, the car ones. Um, I mean, some people like to have specialist stuff, which is fine, and you know they will work for the vehicle. For me, for example, when I got my bike, I had no idea how to clean it. Buying a motorcycle, the product where the brand is for motorcycles, makes sense because then you don't have to make that choice. You instantly know that that product will work for motorcycle. Yeah. Whereas if you don't have that knowledge and you go car products, I have like 50 shelves in the house. Whereas motorcycle products is one shelf. Yeah. Yeah, it'll all be the same stuff. Soap for a car is soap for a bike. Wheel cleaner is wheel cleaner. If you spraying. Nice. You ride much? Not enough. <laughs> Nowhere near as much as I want. That was a quick answer. You ride your bike much? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. Well, I almost hit the wall of shame at the MOT place. Really? Because of uh, how few miles I'd done between MOTs. Uh... At the moment, yeah, I think recently I did have three bikes in the garage. ZX7R, I was turning into like a project. It's, um, it's like a, it's a cross between a chopper and a street fighter, so it's like a chopper back end, but with street fighter forks. Okay, that's so it's, interesting. It's a really cool shape. And I also had the stunt bike, the CBR600 F4i. A stunt bike? Yeah. The stunts? Uh, a bit. <laughs> Yep, it's just a good degreaser and okay. yeah, detergent plus stuff. When you spray the engine bit, you leave it for sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a minute. Yeah, it's a little bit
I think on my bike was an obvious reason to do that. It was pretty obvious when I came here. <laughs> These exposed engine bikes is that every time you look, there's another little space you haven't seen. Yeah. This is why it was scary because when, when you look at the bike with lots of plastic, you kind of see how to clean it. Yeah. What is this? Okay, I had no problem understanding how to clean the tank and the seat and the fenders, but that's about it. Everything else is like an open engine, it's okay, so do I need to cover anything? You don't need to cover anything. How should I get in there? Like how deep I can get in there? It's like a heart on a bike and you're touching it. Yeah, I mean generally, if there's something that shouldn't be exposed, it'll be under the seat or covered up anyway, because obviously yes, they are designed yes. to ride in the rain. But there are parts that you go at it too hard. If you get water in the electrics, there are electric plugs everywhere. Mm. I don't get what this is about you Got my head spinning on my shoulders I feel a burn inside of my chest See the lines as they blur out I can feel it knocking me out You're bringing me higher and higher in every way And all of my doubts I can feel them Love is forever 